Welcome everyone to this wonderful Hilton Hotel here in, a, in a suburb of Akron. I'm here once again with Coach A. Prior to the state semifinal, we arrived here this morning at around 11 a.m. Um, a lot of stuff happened here today. Um, and it definitely was a lot to take note of in terms of me as a reporter standpoint. Um, one of the biggest things that came out of this interview was just after this meeting that we just had. Um, one of the big things was to not, not be nervous for what's to come in the near future. Um, as you said, Mason has a kid that can pitch really well. You got a bunch of them. And so kind of describe to me what you guys are going up against tomorrow. Um, we know a lot about Mason just from seeing them on Twitter and you know we knew that they have a player of the year in the state of Ohio so they have a great team. Um, I'm good friends with Coach Bly. Uh, he runs a great program. He has for, for a long time now. Um, so we're excited for the challenge. They have a, three great pitchers um, but they can only throw one at a time. So when that one's throwing we're going to try to compete our faces off and play the best baseball game that we can play. And as I saw in one of the programs, Mason comes in as number three in the state to show 27 and, 27 and four record, number three pitcher in the state. Um, also, you have, you also kind of flashed back to when one of our assistant coaches was a center fielder back in 2012. Our last, our last state appearance when Grove City went up against Moeller and that our, ki our kids were up three to two against Moeller and they had a similar situation to what Mason had. They had a kid, they had 10 numerous kids that got offers from SEC schools including Kentucky and Missouri. So, kind of describe and flesh back that experience. Yeah, um, it was 10 years to the day. You know, we made it to the Final Four. We were the number one ranked team in the state. Moeller was number two, and it was another great battle. Um, we ended up on the 3-2 on the bad side of that one. Um, they had great arms, great pitchers, but we battled, and we battled. We laid a, um, got a big run out of a sophomore at the time. Um, we struck out with the bases loaded in an inning that really hurt us and you'll have that in great games with great players on both sides um we're just excited to be back and with another chance to do something great for our city you know our city let us out of town today this morning and you were with us and french was with us and police and everybody was out supporting and honking and you know, they stop traffic everywhere for us to get out of town. So um, I love this community and I'm excited for our guys to represent that community. And I think they have to the utmost um, ability all season. And I think this Grove City community has been awesome to this team, especially from the start of the season and to our first game in Ohio against New Albany. And I remember that because that was my first ever baseball broadcast with you guys. And from there, it just was a massive upward spiral. Um, so then for practice today, one of the biggest topics you had was competitiveness. So getting the guys to stay motivated, to stay competitive, even through what what the opposite side will bring to the table. So, yes. what was that practice like? Um, it was a great practice today. Um, I've been I've been so pleased with the way our guys have practiced all year. You know, and, and we demand a lot out of our guys. And some of our practices are really long. And you know, Coach Myers even put an extra half hour on our lunches today because he said I never can stay under the time that we're supposed to practice. Um, but Akron had a beautiful site for us today to use. Um, all turf complex, beautiful, beautiful park, beautiful backdrop. 
and you know we kind of wanted to make sure we added those competitive juices again. Uh, we went off live pitchers the last couple days, so we moved in the uh, moved in the pitching mound, um, brought the L screen out, and uh, we chucked balls at them. I chucked a lot of left-handed balls at them for 45 minutes, um, and we played a game of blackjack. A competitive game that our guys love that focuses on defense and then we played some five on five on five with coach Waits pitching and really got those um, competitive juices going again so I was extremely pleased with the way that our guys played um, and competed all day of practice today so we're and then we had a great dinner hosted by our booster group um, our boosters have been amazing through this process as well so definitely want to give them a shout out and thanking them for everything that they do for us, um, especially with this trip. For sure. Um, so let's go on. I know we did an interview at, a, at any time for regionals, but going through their wins over Hilliard, Darby, and New Albany, respectively, um, what was it like when that final play was made, the double play, that sent Grove City to states. What well, went through your mind? I was just so happy for our guys. Um, that was a great game. That New Albany team, we know what they were capable of. The Darby team, we also played them in the regular season. So I think it's another piece that we try to compete every single day against the best teams in the state. And our schedule proved to be that that true again with the teams that we ended up playing later in the season were teams we've been playing all season. Um, Darby threw the old Gilk at us and we actually had old Gilk down to practice the other day to throw against us again. Um, he was amazing coming off that hand injury. Didn't think there was any chance that he would pitch. Uh, he was amazing. We found a way to scrap two runs and beat them 2 nothing, and then against New Albany found a way to muster up some runs and beat them 2 nothing as well. So. Um, couldn't be more happy with our pitching and defense right now. I think we're doing that at a very high level. Um, just extremely happy th with the way that they're playing and meshing together and our dugout's been amazing. So we're excited for Canal Park tomorrow tomorrow at 1, 1 p.m. against Mason. For sure, and speaking of Canal Park, um, you took the Grove City team there today and scouted a game between I believe it was Liberty Union, and I believe the other team was like Wayne. Waynesdale? Waynesdale. That was the team that Liberty Union played. And so Liberty Union had a pitcher, committed to Louisville, throws a 99. Now, what was the connection from that game to this upcoming game, and why did you take the team out to see that? Yeah, I just, I wanted to take our team to the park instead of coming up tomorrow, getting off the, getting out of the vans, getting off the bus and just playing. Um, I wanted to get them out of town. It was an amazing thing that Grove City did for us today, but I wanted them at some point to slow that down um, and be able to play fast tomorrow, play quick, get a good night's sleep here and, uh, just be ready to roll. So we wanted to go see that part, let them walk around, let them experience it, let them see everything that they got to see. And um, just very excited for our group of kids to be able to do that. Um, Liberty Union actually came over and practiced at our place yesterday. So our guys know a lot of those kids. They were rooting for them like crazy. Um, Liberty Union came out just on the short end of a great baseball game. And I think just our kids getting able to see that you know, I think they'll be able to ease their tensions a little bit, play with a little bit more confidence. At least that's the hope. For sure. Um, so then let's go into the escort out. Um, I know you just started to bring it up. Um, you said it was a wonderful, and I was in the same van as you the whole way up. So I knew what you were like. Um, just how were, how was, what was your response to every bit of the community that Grove City had to offer? I mean, you have Mayor Stage there. We have one of the good social media creators and Alex Rogers there to take some pictures. And then you got 
some great, great police guys to escort us through Columbus and on our way to Akron. So just what what did it feel like? Oh yeah, we had Grove City Police. We had the Columbus, Columbus City Police. Um, and then everybody in the community that was there, Mayor Stage was there, his media directors were there. So it was just great for our kids to be able to see how much this community is truly behind them. Um, I always say it like Grove City is a massive city. I think in the next five years, we're supposed to be up over 50,000 people. Um, but it still has that really small town feel. Um, and some people hate that and I absolutely love it. So. Um, you know what you're gonna get. The people are real, and they're gonna tell you how they feel, and you know, I believe in all those things. For sure. Um, so then let's go on to Mason. Um, again, Mason, one of the best teams in the state, third best, coming in with only four losses, and one of the three of the most dynamic pitchers in, in the, the whole state, you could say. Um, how did you guys kind of game plan for them? Um, I know one, one of those three pitchers are going to start. So, I mean, it's not like this team has to think, oh, well, they they have three different pitchers. No, they are only starting one. So, how did you guys, like, game plan for them? Yeah, I mean, and it always changes. Like, if you told me that Gilkerson was going to throw, I'd said no way the way he's his hand looked a week ago um but that dude's a magnificent athlete and just an absolute competitor and then if new albany i probably would have thought that robinson was going to pitch it against us and griffiths pitch against us so it's kind of a little bit different feel there as well um so this today you know you always roll the dice but we think we're going to see one of the two lefties um they seem to be the one, the two guys that are starting their games right now, and then the Murphy kid goes in and finishes a lot of games, the good righty. Um, so it'll be one of those three, but we're leaning towards it'll be one of those two lefties, and um, we've seen some great lefties all year. We saw a great lefty like in George Jenkins that was a Division One guy. Um, so we're excited for the challenge. For sure. So let's go up now to Akron. Akron just got here, did a lot. Um, what's your overall feeling of this place? Uh, I mean, as much as I would love for it to be in Huntington Park and have all of Grove City um, invade Huntington Park tomorrow, we'll still have a great crowd. We'll have a great crowd up here at 1 p.m. tomorrow um, at Canal Park. Canal Park's beautiful, beautiful park. Um, great backdrop. I think French said great concession stand. So tons of tons of great things for kids to see, kids to do, um, and just a beautiful park. Everyone's treated us great, um, so we're gonna expect that tomorrow as well. For sure, um, Coach A, um, do you have any last-second things you have to say to the fans tomorrow? I know there won't be a ton up here since it's Akron and it's two hours away. So, but what would you like to say? Um, there's, there's be multiple ways you can probably support us. The OH High High School, they'll have a streaming service going. Our man's going to try to stream this. Um, the Fuzz has been killing it all season and we we'll greatly appreciate everything that he does for us as well. Um, just continue to support our boys. They work extremely hard and they deserve all of this. Um, I'm just so happy that they get to experience it. You know, we probably had 10 other teams that I feel like deserve this chance and this opportunity as well, but that's just not how it works in a one game series in baseball. Um, but this group is, is primed for this stage and they love it. And I'm excited to see what they'll do tomorrow. Absolutely. Thanks again, Coach A. Thanks, Buzz. And I can't wait. Thanks, French. And Appreciate you, 1 8. And I can't wait to broadcast this team tomorrow. Thank you, bud.